on that Kartikeya Singh is written. So this book was designed by him, you know, when he was in standard eight. And he learned Photoshop in one day, an illustrator. So that day I realized that that boy has got some talent. And uh, I didn't want him to come in the design field because I had a very low opinion about design basically. Basically because of my ignorance, you know. Some of my friends decided to go into design in NID and all that kind of thing. And I always looked down upon this design. What is all this design? And we've learned some software and do these things. And it's very non-intellectual kind of activity. It's, you know, better go and become a craftsman or something like that, do architecture or, you know. And what is all this design? Because I basically don't like designs. <laughs> I don't like design. I don't see design at all. And the kind of design that I'm accustomed to, you know, the wealth of design that we see in our heritage, you know, whether Indian heritage or Chinese heritage, African heritage, folk heritage, you know. So a person who has this kind of historical perspective to aesthetic things and cannot appreciate much, you know, the contemporary design that we have. So I was a kind of disenchanted guy. And perhaps to a degree, I continue to be disenchanted. And Gloria and we were up talking about this also. What kind of architecture we have in the last 50 years or so? Do we have an Indian architecture? And things like that. So those are other things. But uh, I'm happy to be corrected. And when my son went into design, that I had a chance to learn that it is a really, very big field. And I'm happy to be educated. My design and my last job, if it was a job, was at IDC, Industrial Design Center in IIT Bombay. They were doing some project on Ajanta. I was advising that project. So I advised three professors and they had a team of 20 or 30 people. So things like that, you know, they were doing communication design, somebody was making animation, somebody was doing augmented reality, somebody was into product design, they were doing you know, Ajanta related things like that, so two, three years I worked with them. So, that's a short introduction about what I do, you know. And uh, so, so, we are here to, I'm very happy with this small group, really. I'm a little terrified with a large group. You know, if we have 50 people or 100 people, then I, I, because I'm not exactly into academia. The last time I was teaching was some 12 years before. And uh, I do address some gatherings, but because of my own shyness, I prefer to address a gathering of professors than a gathering of students. Uh, this is mainly because I feel that I am not the fit person to, to, to be able to educate students. I feel more comfortable with professors because the advantage is they know half the things. Okay? And therefore, uh, uh, I could cut many details and you know, come to the point. But addressing students is very challenging, extremely challenging. And uh, I am not particularly good in that. So, but, but so I take it as a challenge that how I could pass on some of the details about this great monument to you, you know, to try to speak your language, try to see Ajanta from your eyes. So it's less of a teaching and more of a learning from me. Because I never seen Ajanta from the eyes of a designer. Okay, there are various ways of looking at things. Okay, various ways of looking at things. And, uh, and, uh, and therefore, I like to... Uh, uh, look at this, I think that is very beautiful from, from, from a designer's perspective. I think when you will be in second year or third year or first year, when you go into post-graduation and you will get into specialization, you have different kind of things like interaction design and product design and ergonomics you have, interior you have. I think in architecture you would have to deal with technology, you will have to 
space management you would have to control it, then function, then uh, things of that kind. And uh, I think Ajanta can be looked at and analyzed from each of these angles. And uh, I think I would, I would like to introduce you gradually to these things. But first of all, because I do not take for granted that all of you have been to Ajanta. Have you been to Ajanta ever as a tourist? Yeah. You have been, you, you are kind of a right? Yes. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, yes, sir. You have been to Ajanta, right? Mm -hmm. And how, how many how many hours or days you spent over there? Only two hours, I don't know. Two hours, right? So, what's your reaction? What's your feeling? Can you share? What did you do in those two hours? Did you run through the cage? No, no. Did you visit the selection of cages? What was your impression and feeling at the end? You know, when you came back home, what did you tell your friends? Mm. At that time, we were very small, <laughs> so we don't. Can we reduce yeah. the? Uh,